I have a Discord server, by the way. I post sneak peeks on new videos and whatnot. Feel free to join if you'd like. Thanks. So, usually whenever I do a legend analysis redone, I like to do a bit of a community thing and see what people might want to see the most. Keyword, usually. This time I wanted to go with what felt the most right to do for me. A legend I don't hold any bias against, one I haven't played in so long as well. You already saw the thumbnail of this video, it's Ragnar. Ragnar is a legend that I could say I potentially main back in plat days on Xbox. But that was so long ago I've kind of forgot about it at this point. I even pretty much forgot about the Ragnar analysis that I did years ago. If you ask me about one thing I said in that video, I would probably blank out. Not that I hate Ragnar at all though, he's just gone under my radar for so long. So let's give him the proper return he deserves and hop right into his signatures. Some I think are pretty dang good, others I'm a little lost on. Let's go in order, starting off with Axe. Axe Insig off the bat is probably his best signature actually. It covers a very generous area and on occasions goes true with Sidelight. A mighty true combo if I've ever seen one. The force is quite nice as well, this sig doesn't really have too many downsides. I can see it being an issue if your enemy likes staying on the ground, but it's overall a super solid signature. X side sig has its two versions of course, the on stage version which while having a bit more force might leave you a bit more vulnerable if used immediately. The force is okay but I wouldn't say it's one Ragnar is recognized for. The aerial version isn't too shabby either having a bit less force than the on stage version but can spike on occasions, keyword occasions. Overall solid, not really in need of buffs or nerfs. Moving on to Axe Down Sig, this one is almost as hypnotizing as Kaya Spear Down Sig. Hold it down as your enemies get burnt to a crisp. Not his best signature, obviously. It has just about as much force as Side Sig's on stage variation, but it sends out a bit of an angle making it a bit tougher for killing overall. I'm really not sure if Side Sig or Down Sig is better or worse because they just seem so similar in strength. How do they hold up against the Katara signatures though? Ragnar has some really nasty Katara signatures when put under the right hands, although I've always found them to be a bit on the tougher side for me. Guitar the Insig, while arguably being one of Ragnar's best on guitars, has a lot of downsides to it actually. Yes, while Katara Insig does dunk fairly well and covers a nice area for edgeguarding, you can easily go underneath it. It has pretty low damage compared to the rest of Ragnar's signatures, and the force isn't too high either. Let's be honest though, the dunking part of the signature just makes it seem really good, which it is, I'm not saying it's bad actually, the low force is hardly a hindrance. Is it better than Katara's side sig though? I would say so. I'd say the second Ragnar is probably his worst unfortunately. It drags the enemy on for a bit, explaining for its low force. The damage is just about average too, and there isn't a lot going on with this one. Just a simple dash forward. I called this one his worst one years back as well, so I really can't blame myself. Lastly, we have Katara Downsig. The lowest force on Ragnar by far, average damage once again, but is saved quite a lot by its ability to dunk. Ragnar's Katara kit has some serious dunkage potential, if that's even a real word, but his Katara kit is pretty solid. As for whether his Axe or Katara game is better, you can really play either, right now Axe is super strong and isn't seeing any nerfs for a hot minute, but his guitar game can really throw people in for a loop. On Ragnar's skins, he has a whole lot of them, so we'll be pretty quick with this section. God tier has Nightshade, Inferno, and Sobek Ragnar. Nightshade feels underrated and unique on Ragnar, Inferno has a super cool style, and as for Sobek, you might think this one isn't as good or probably one of his worst, although my setup makes him look a lot like a crocodile. St. Patty's color is being put to good use. Pretty good tier has Ashen, Dark Depths, Werebat Ragnar, and Raphael. Ashen was the choice on Ragnar's launch, likely, and looked great. Dark Depths is a very nice chest skin for Ragnar, whereby Ragnar almost went in mid-tier, but the idea is pretty creative. And as for Raphael, he's the crossover legend for Ragnar, and I think he's just neat. He has some nice looking signatures. Mid-tier has Default, Frost Guardian, Elder Wild Tier 3 and 2, and Ragnar the Covetous. Default I think is just okay, but iconic. Frost Guardian made me realize he has 3 event skins. I don't like this one, but I really don't hate it. Elder Wild Tier 3 and 2 I think are just okay, I'm not a big fan of epic skins. Ragnar the Cowardus is probably my least favorite event skin of his, but the idea is still creative. Med Tier has Ragnosaurus Rex and Celestial Ragnar. Ragnosaurus has some strange colors, which makes me not like it too much. Celestial used to be my least favorite one in the past, but I admit it isn't that bad. Lastly in Get Out Tier we have Elder Wild 1 and Mega Ragnar. Elder Wild 1 is so plain and naked looking, and mecha skins are usually always bad for me. I tried speeding through this section so it wouldn't take up half the video, but overall Ragnar skins are solid. Some good and some bad. Tier list wise, out of S, A, B, C, and D, I placed Ragnar in just A plus tier. You could perhaps say S tier if you think Axe and Guitars are really strong though, which I could agree with honestly. The strength of Axe and Guitars adds on to Ragnar's power. His signatures on the other hand are actually pretty balanced, maybe only one or two of them could see a slight nerf though. You never really see anyone complaining about Ragnar. He's just a little guy, and I would say his stats add on to that pretty well. 5 strength, 6 dex, 6 defense, and 5 speed. Ah yes, another balanced stat legend. We don't have many of them actually, but they're nice to see every now and then. Ragnar doesn't excel in any particular category when it comes to his stats, and doesn't lack in any department either. 
If you were to run a stance, you could probably run anything besides dex. Speed takes out of attack, attack takes out on defense, defense takes out on dex, the best stance in my opinion, and dex takes out of speed, which is a big no-go. You don't get much off of dexterity for Ragnar. Overall, Ragnar is pretty balanced in my eyes. It's mostly his two weapons that are particularly strong right now. Mostly Axe. Even with that in mind, I'm still a bit sad he hasn't played more. How can we have to deal with the Axe legends like Brynn and Rayman so often, but Ragnar is almost nowhere to be seen? Probably because Brynn and Rayman are so overpowered, but that's a story for another day. Ragnar's play rate isn't really at the bottom of the barrel, but it sure as hell feels like it. What do you think about Ragnar though? Do you think he's overpowered, underpowered, needs some buffs, nerfs? What is your opinions down in the comments? I'm curious. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, subscribe. It's free, and it helps me out quite a lot. And seriously, it does, and I greatly appreciate it. And until next time, always remember to keep on brawling.